Welcome back. <laughs> 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 Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a little vest out of a sport coat. So you ready? I'm ready. Let's get it. Okay, so the reason why I love upcycling and why you should as well is because it's just like reinventing an old piece into something new. And you can totally like relive it yet again. This is step one. We have to make sure we're peeping the piece. So let me, you know, Move this around a little bit so I got some space. Okay, so now we're gonna lay out our piece just to see like what we're working with. I see sport coat, but let's like see how we're gonna plan to attack this, you know? Step two action. We're gonna start taking everything apart. We're gonna deconstruct and start cutting our patterns in one. It's kind of like a big coat and the vest can live like within it. So I'm going to use these front panels first and I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna start cutting right away, high key. There might be some stuff I have to deconstruct for like later, but right now we're just gonna, we're just gonna just go for it. So the most important thing when like examining a piece, cutting out your pattern pieces, deconstructing, is kind of the placements of everything. So for example, this panel already has like buttonholes in it and I could just reuse those. So I wanna like make sure that lines up with like the centerpiece of my vest this whole bottom lining is already lined up and, you know, clean. So it's like, maybe I can just reutilize those elements already just to make my life easier. So I'll just like kind of start there at that point. So like just making sure your placements are A1 and how you want it, how you can see it coming to life. I know I'm gonna have to like cut into the actual fabric and then I'm gonna have to like finesse and like do lining and like clean it all up later. But like we can make sure like this bottom half is clean. So. I'm gonna start cutting that right away, right now. I'm just gonna use this little um, wheel cutter, a little slicer action. So we're gonna use the slicer and just it out. So if you didn't understand what is, it's we're gonna cut it out. So I'm gonna just gonna chalk this out just to uh, make sure I'm, I'm going with like something that I'm pleased with. So here we go. Okay, so we have our chest here and it's gonna end down here, but this is gonna all be clean right here. But right here, we're gonna cut into the fabric, so we have to like, we're gonna make that nicer later. You'll see what I'm talking about. So this is gonna be like your center of your chest going up to your shoulder. We have your shoulder seam. We have your armhole coming down here. And then this is your side seam right there. So now I'm gonna cut this all out. So I cut out my front panels and my vest. So here's the shoulder seam. We have the chest opening, and then this is like the chest finish, side seam, armhole. And now I'm going to make the back panel, and then we're getting there. So now this is the back panel. We have our two fronts right here, don't front. And now we have to cut out the back one. We have this. We wanna make sure our shoulder seam is the same length when we make this pattern piece. We wanna make sure our side seam is the same length when we make this pattern piece. So everything can line up. The most important thing to remember when you're cutting patterns is, what I'm doing, I'm cutting this on a fold. I cut these out two at the same time. So you wanna make sure your fabric's not moving around. Like if my fabric's moving around this, this shoulder seam that I cut, it's gonna be different, wonky and just different. So like these fabric weights are great. The like pattern fabric weights, whatever you wanna call them. But basically it holds everything in place so when I'm cutting these two layers out at the same time, nothing is moving and it's gonna be identical and symmetrical. Okay, now, so now we're on the step four. We cut everything out, we're gonna review our pattern pieces. Here's our back panel. I'm gonna move it like this so y'all can see it a little bit better. And then we have our front panel. Here's our left side. And here's our right side. All right, step five, we're gonna start sewing this together. So we have our back panel, we have our front panel. We're gonna start sewing this together, shoulder to shoulder. And they line up pretty perfectly. So here we go. Okay. So our shoulders are together. It looks ugly on the inside, but it's gonna be nice on the outside, especially when we 
clean it all up. Side seam, this is your front of your vest, this is the back of your vest. We wanna put them face to face, so like good looking fabrics together. The messiness is gonna be what we see now, but after we sew it together and flip it out, we're gonna see the, the nice, the nice, nice. So um, here we go. So when I first start sewing, I'm not just gonna start going right away. I'm gonna go back and forth a little bit just to lock in that seam so nothing can come apart like later as we keep making this. So I'm going back and forth right now. And now I'm gonna um, start to sew down this whole side seam. I think for me, the biggest challenge in designing is if I wanna be an ill designer, global designer, I'm looking up to this guy, this guy, this lady, this lady, you know, and I'm like, damn, how to get there? And you have to do so much groundwork to get there, it becomes intimidating and you just want to be there already. Sometimes it's cliche, but like to keep your head down and keep going hard at what you're doing is literally the only move. But if you keep working through your shit, new stuff's gonna keep happening, new vibes, you're gonna, you're gonna, that passion for the reason why you're doing it will always come back. I quit my job at 25, yeah, no, 26. You know, I was an accountant for four years. I went, I was like, I did nothing. You know, I went, I went, I went to zero on, on life expenses, life, everything, sleeping on friends' floors. And people at 26 are like, nah, man, you tripping. Why would you do that? It's like, man, this, this, I lost passion in my entire life. So I found it through design, which I never cared about one day in my life. And then it just came up. So, but like I said, through all that, it shit becomes your regular and you kind of get lost in that again. But like I said, I was passionate about it. So I always find a new passion within it. Wow. That was a hell of an answer. <laughs> so now I'm sewing my panels together. I'm making sure these pockets realign. Um, everything's gonna be looking nice real quick soon here. So now I'm gonna I'm sewing these lines in on like the, the centerpiece. I'll take it out and show you real quick. Okay, so you see how it's messy here, but now it's clean here. Fold, fold, and we're gonna just keep sewing all the way around. And then I'm gonna add a piece of fabric to the edge here, so let's get it. So yeah, I already cleaned up nice and sexified my center and my neckline, but now on the shoulders, I'm adding fabric, like a bias to go around the whole thing. And this is like the last couple seams. Boom, boom, boom. I added this piece of fabric to go around it. I cut like one inch by like 30 inches. So that's all still clean. Oops, yeah, get this out. That's all still clean and it's on both sides, so. Flex on them. So we got it right here, you know, clean, finished, everything. So we're gonna throw this bad boy on, you know, look at, you, look at the kid, you know. We got the, you know, the old man vest game, strong with the Fuse logos. You know I gotta represent for my people, my team, all y'all tuning in, let's get it. You know, and yeah, like I said, all the buttons still work. Boom, to the boom. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in to How To with your boy Cho. I appreciate you more than you can even believe. So make sure you stay tuned in to more episodes, but also don't sleep on the kid. Don't sleep on Upcycle Nation. Tune in, let's get it.